Uh, welcome to our first uh, anime and manga and podcast. Mm-hmm. Uh, we have some idea of what we're doing today. Yeah. But just roll with it. Because yeah. that's what we're doing. That's what we're doing. Uh, if you were here for the intro, you were listening to music from Dragon Ball Z, Goku Hishoden, which came out many years ago today. Do you want to guess how many? Ooh. On the Game Boy. On the Game Boy? Not the Game Boy Color, the Game Boy. So... Like, oh, it had to be like, what, like 30 years ago? You're close. Huh? You're very close. 31 years ago. No. What? 29. Oh, okay. This game is exactly as old as I am. Oh, hey. Yeah. Man. Right? I'm old. Yeah, you are. All right, so that just felt appropriate for uh, us starting our anime podcast. Yes. And uh, we're going to kick things off with... Uh, our month in anime. As in what we've been watching? Yes, actually. Okay. Yeah, so uh, real quick, how has your month in anime been? Um, there's been more anime this month than there has been in previous months. True. Especially for you. Yeah, I know, because I haven't been watching anything previously. For years. Not well, <laughs> who has had time with school? Yeah. Nursing school takes up a lot of time yeah. and energy and brain space yeah and like i don't know sometimes you're just not in the mood to watch something that takes thought especially uh especially because like i personally like subs yeah so i have to read and who wants to read on their nail but anyway yeah i hate subs i am a person i will watch subs only if i absolutely have to i don't get it to me it's more authentic authentic you leave i don't (laughs) (laughs) I don't know. Also, like, the acting. I can't tell if the acting is bad if it's in a different way. Yeah. Like, I'm just That's fair. Saying. That's fair. Yeah. And a lot of the acting in the old dubs was horrible. <laughs> it's a lot better now. Yeah. I feel it, like it just the better. quality of acting in general has gotten better. Yeah. Or at least, like, the floor for actors. Yeah. 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 So, let's see. I've been watching a lot of what you've been watching, not gonna lie. Yeah, we watched Oshinoko. We finished Oshinoko. If you haven't seen Oshinoko, you should absolutely at least watch that first episode. Yes. If you want a roller coaster of emotion and suspense and drama, (laughs) yeah. It's intense. It's like an hour and a half long. Mm -hmm. It is a monster of a first episode. Yes. And really, it's a mostly a self-contained story. You can just watch that, even. <laughs> like, even if you don't want to watch the rest of it, at least watch the first episode. Yeah, it's on High Dive if you're in the U.S. Mm. I loved it, and music is really good. Yes. And if you want to learn the dance, like, the, that also works, too. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And the music is by the group... How, do you know how to pronounce it? What is it? Yasobi? No? I don't know. I. Uh, I'll Google it real quick. Yosubi? Yeah. Yosubi? Sure. Your guess is mine. You're the one that watches subs. You should know more than me. You pronounce every letter. So. Yosubi? Yosubi. Okay. Yeah. So they do the opening for uh, Oshinoko. It's good. They also do the opening for Free Ren. Another anime we're going to talk about. Yes. And uh, they just put out a song with Pokemon. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. So, Free Ren, other anime we've been watching. Yes. So cute. If you like so vibey anime, like not like intense stuff, just kind of slice of lifey, mm-hmm. kind of just go with the flow, you'll like Free Ren. Yeah. It's such... It's just vibes. It is just vibes. It's, it's, it's chill. Yeah. It is a fantasy series. About mm. an elf who outlives all of her friends. <laughs> that makes it sound so sad. It is. The I whole thing know. is sad. Like, out of nowhere, you'll just start crying. I mean, it's not It's not that sad. But I feel like with her energy, with Free Ren's energy, it mm-hmm. doesn't make it super sad. Maybe. I don't know. Every now and then, there's like a quiet part that will just like hit you. Out of nowhere, as you like, figure out what's going through her head in the moment. <laughs> maybe, maybe, maybe. I have. I don't know. Personally, I haven't. I haven't cried. Oh, I've cried several times. Really? Yeah. I don't think I've cried. I might have cried once. Okay. 
Yeah, I don't know. It's not even like the saddest parts that are like tear jerking. It's the parts that are like the quiet, like on. What's the word here? Like, like the like, acceptance of what has happened. Yeah. Okay, I can understand. Yeah, real the like realizations, mm. especially the small ones that like you didn't know think you would notice. Mm. It's, it's so pretty, good. It's pretty good. And it does not have a giant boob scene. No, I <laughs> I, I I saw a, a gif on uh, Twitter for some reason or whatever X whatever you want to call it uh, that for some reason inflated one of the characters' boobs, and I thought it looked legit, but I was because like the I, I thought I saw a lot of references to boobs, but maybe that's just me. I didn't see any of them, but uh, <sighs> that's not the. <laughs> but yeah it's it's wholesome no hentai no ecchi no none at all yeah <laughs> definitely recommend for you Red. yes in fact uh, we can use that to pull up our first story of the day which yeah. i forgot to pull up actually uh oh was that legit let's see three Ren. Uh, knocked Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood off of the top spot on my anime list. Oh, wow. Right? That's See, crazy. Right? Is this... This is, this is not crazy? the one that I had originally. See, the original one that I had pulled up uh, called Free Rent a Shonen Anime, and I was <laughs> so upset. It's not Shonen. No. It is not. So just for, like, a brief... Uh, review of what shonen anime is. Do you, would, would you mind defining that? It's boys anime. Yeah, right? it's it's like targeted towards like teenage and younger boys. Yeah, basically. not even like older teenage. We're talking like, like fifteen teens. and younger. Yeah, definitely. So kind of stuff like Naruto. Yeah. One Piece. Dragon Ball. Yeah, stuff like that. So definitely not the energy that Free Run gives off. Yeah, definitely not this anime about a sad elf woman. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, definitely recommend it. Uh, it. It's not that intense, like story wise. Mm -hmm. It seems like it's about to get there. Yeah. It seems like we're about to hit more of a story arc, but the first like five, six episodes really just chill. Chill, letting you get to know the characters mm -hmm. and their like day to day lives. I loved it. Yeah. But I am looking forward to seeing how it goes. Yes. Like, part of me is going to miss just the vibes. Yeah. But, but, like, having a story now that we know the characters yeah. and their backstory and stuff, it's going to be pretty cool. It's going to be pretty awesome. I'm excited. Any other anime you've been watching? Um, personally, I've been watching Fruits Baskets. You Fruits mean re-watching? <sighs> <laughs> Apparently, I've watched it before. Like, I, I there's no spoilers. It came out in 2019. But, like, the cat turns into something, and I'm just like, I don't remember that at all. Yeah, we watched this back in 2019. When it came together. out. I don't remember, so I'm re-watching it, I suppose. <laughs> but, like, I, once again, I'm getting all my, like, anime fixes, like, little bits and pieces on Twitter. Yeah. So I'm like, I don't remember that. I, don't remember <laughs> that. I, want, I want to watch that, and plus it's, like, on season, what, three now? True. See that two? It just two? Like it just has two seasons and that's it. Okay, because like I think Crunchyroll was like three, but that might just be like a different language. Or Maybe. So, yeah, at least another season, and I want to get to it. And if I don't remember it at all, I want to rewatch it anyway. I mean, we didn't see season two. Yeah, I know. Season two was not when we watched it, so we could watch that together. Yeah, but I needed a recap. Yeah. Because I had no idea. That's right. That's me with uh, Goblin Slayer right now. Ah. Uh, where I, Season two started, and I went back and started rewatching season one, because I started season two, and I was like, I have no idea what's going on. <laughs> and then I go back to the beginning of season one, and I remember like all the gross, like, rapey scenes Ooh. at the beginning of oh, it. Oh, no. That hope, like, I don't think are throughout season one. It just starts off that way, and that's a horrible way to start out. Don't do that. That's a really bad tone to set. And I also remembered that uh, they don't actually give names to any of the characters. Oh, that's weird. Yeah. Okay. Like, I think the Goblin Slayer guy is just named Goblin Slayer. 
That's just what people call him. Are there any other main characters? Yes, but I think they're all called, like, mage. Oh. Shaman. Just whatever they yeah. are. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Really lazy naming system <laughs> in this anime, man. I mean, whatever. Yeah. Oh, we have a friend. Oh, hello. <laughs> Do you have some anime input, Oreo? He loves anime. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's, uh, the depressed cat. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what is that? Anime called? I don't remember. Oh, my, like, my spectacular cat is depressed again day day or something, something like, like that? that? Yeah. Yeah. We should watch that at some point. Yeah. When I'm, uh, like, watching subs. <laughs> I still say, if you're looking for a nice, like, cutesy slice of life anime, my roommate is a cat and very adorable. <laughs> <laughs> Especially if you're a cat person. I do recommend. Hey, buddy. But yeah. Uh, what else? Have, have we been watching anything else? Have you watched anything else? That's the only thing that I've been watching alone. Okay. And then we watched all of Spy Family Season 1 before Season 2 started. Yes. And we have not watched any of Season 2 yet because we want a lot more of it to be out before we start binging it. Yeah. <laughs> I have a problem. It's fine. Uh, I've been watching uh, Shujutsu Kaisen. Season two. Yeah, I've been sitting in and whenever he's watching an episode and I'm just like, I don't know what's going on, but it seems pretty cool. Yeah, it is pretty cool. <laughs> and like, hello, what's oh, up? I'm get him out. <laughs> no, he's okay. fine. He's my boy. <laughs> yeah, uh, season one, so good. The movie, which was a prequel to season one, so good. Season two, even better. Really? Yeah. Okay, I will have to give it another try because I did start it before yeah. with you, mm -hmm. but then I fell off the train a little bit. Yeah, and then uh, so there is a problem with season two though. What? I don't know if you've heard anything about this, and the studio that's making it. Oh, you told me about this, but go ahead. Yeah, so uh, Mappa Studios, the uh, production company behind Jujutsu, Jujutsu Kaisen and several other anime like Chainsaw Man. I think Mob Psycho. Mob Psycho is really good. You gotta watch Mob Psycho. I should watch that too. Uh, and like just so many more. I think it, the last several seasons of Attack on Titan. Oh, okay. Yeah. Also them? Basically, they are doing most of the good anime that you hear about. Which is a problem because they are way overworking all of their animators. Oh. Yeah. Like you're hearing stories of like seven day work weeks, uh, 12 to 14 hours a day. Oh my god. Yeah. Sometimes, like, their animators will tweet, like, yeah, I just went home for the first time in three days. Wow. Yeah. That's so unfortunate. So now they're also having, like, a mass exodus of employees. I mean, understandable. And this is the middle of Jujutsu Kaisen Season 2. Yikes. And they're putting out episodes, like, an hour before it goes live on TV. That's crazy. Yeah. Like, man, like... Like, yeah, it's sad about the anime, but also, I feel so bad for right? the employees. Yeah. Like, why would you do that to people? There's like, no reason for that. Like, are they, were they shorthanded in the first place or something? They just took on too much work. Oh. Like, they're working on so many shows right That's now. True. Let's see. Let's see what they have this year. Hell's Paradise. Campfire Cooking in Another World with My Absurd Skill. <laughs> That's an anime title. Attack on Titan, which just finished up. Chainsaw Man, which was animated so well and finished up like a few months ago. Jujutsu Kaisen, which is still ongoing. Like, they're doing several shows at the same time. Right, and they're like big shows. They are like huge shows yeah. with giant fan bases and they are really knocking the animation itself out of the park why am i gonna let's ignore that <laughs> is someone calling you on instagram again no okay good it was am better but that's fine yeah who cares we're not talking to our insurance anymore no yeah uh they are doing so much and uh apparently they're just burning through all of their employees yeah. and it sucks that's sad the company's gotta suck. Yeah. Like, speaking of Mob Psycho, uh, I, season three came out, it was either this year or last year. Okay. I have not watched season three. Okay. Because they replaced the, 
the lead actor for the dub of Mob Psycho. Yeah? They replaced Mob. Because his voice actor asked Crunchyroll to uh, meet with the Screen Actors Guild. Oh! Not to sign a deal with them, just to have a meeting. And they refused and wouldn't rehire him for the project. Wow. Yeah. That sucks. It really sucks. Like, that's just, like, a whole other level of suck. Yeah. Like, why do companies gotta suck like that, man? Money? It doesn't look good. It was money. It is money. Sorry, I'm a little depressed now. I'm sorry. It's you funny. didn't even watch Free Run. No, I didn't. We should watch more Free Run. We've got like two more episodes now. <laughs> yeah. So I think that's all of the anime that we've been watching lately. I think so. I have vaguely started the Eminence and Shadow season two, but like, not enough to talk about it. I recommend it. It's also on High Dive. <gasps> Is he restless? I think so. Yeah. Do you want to let out yeah. the boy real quick? Let him out. <laughs> The one time he doesn't want to sleep for 12 hours. I'm just making sure there's no cat fight. Yeah, don't want to have a cat fight now that he's out. Yeah. Good. Yeah, uh, that's all the anime we're watching, so let's go on to the rest of the news. So, I think this one was... That one was one of mine. So... It wants to load... There we go. AI helps create manga from Godfather to Zuka. So, Tezu um, Osa Osamu Tezuka, I believe, he's um, regarded as the grandfather of like um, modern manga. Okay. He did stuff like Astro Boy. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, he's been dead and gone yeah for like a yeah. while that came out like the 60s or something yeah so he's no longer with us but um with the use of ai and some artists mm -hmm. they have put out a new i don't know if it was a volume or just another chapter of mm -hmm. um blackjack which is one blackjack. of his manga that i don't remember when it came out Okay. But, um, yeah, they put out a new it chapter. began in the 1950s. Okay. Oh, no, well, that's, that's actually my bad. Uh, ooh. 73. So, 73 to 83. 83. So it's been, it's been a hot minute since, okay. uh, it came out. But they put out a new episode. That's really interesting. Yeah, right? How do you feel about, uh, is it an episode of an anime, a it's manga? A, it's manga. Manga? How do you feel about that? So here's the thing. They uh, they did consult his son, mm -hmm. and he seems to be on board with it, considering okay. it did come out. Yeah. But, like, I feel like as long as you are honoring who, like, their, their original works, mm -hmm. how you have permission from one of their relatives or someone that's, like, really close to them, mm -hmm. I don't think I see the issue. Okay. Yeah. Like, I think it's pretty cool that you can use AI to, like, learn from, like, oh, this is, like, his character structure yeah. and all that kind of stuff to make something new. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I agree. Uh, do you know if, like, they used it for the art or, like, so, the writing, the story? So, what was it? It's here somewhere. It was here somewhere. I just read it. Oh my god. Yeah, but like they used artists, like um, like human artists. Okay. So I think it was just like the uh, like the character development and all that stuff like that. Okay, that's interesting. Where is it? Is it this? Here we go. Yeah, the character designs will the ones with the illustrations. So to determine the story and character designs is what AI did. Okay, that's cool. Yeah. Man, if only uh, AI art was better and could make manga even I don't, see, that's the more I effectively. I don't know if I like that, that part, mm -hmm. really. Because then at that point, there really is no... You could be pumping out, like, so much... Manga and anime, but I don't think I think I like the human aspect of like okay, the humans are still doing the art. Yeah, 
I do like that, but also I want uh, Togashi to be able to finish Hunter Hunter before he dies. <laughs> and if he has to use AI to do that, I'm all for it. Well, that's why he's trying to come up with the ending before he dies. <laughs> that, that's our that's our next story. That's the segue. <laughs> Jesus. But um, yeah, he's he is still with us. Yeah. Um, but I think he's had some health problems. Yeah. So, uh, if you don't know, uh, Tagashi is the creator behind uh, Hunter Hunter and Yu Yu Hakusho. Mm -hmm. Also, a uh, famous husband of uh, the creator of Sailor Moon. <laughs> yes. And uh, so he has had health problems for years, like okay. crippling back problems. Mm. They don't usually get better. Yeah. Without surgery. Yeah. And even then, that's like a maybe. Mm. And because of that, he has not been able to draw. At That's least not, like, consistently. Right. Understandably. Like, so. I think for the first time in a few years, uh, some chap chapters of Hunter Hunter came out uh, last December. Okay. And he still has, like, a ways to go with the story. Okay. Yeah, see, I don't know much about Hunter Alexander, but um, he's trying to <laughs> come up with some possible endings. Yeah. So it, it sounds like he has come up with four different mm -hmm. possible endings. Uh, I I didn't exactly read the what the endings were about because I know nothing. It's about okay. The story. It's okay. But um. So I will give you a little bit more information of what I know. Okay. So he has four endings: A, B, C, and D. Yes. And the A, he says, ninety percent of people would like if they watch if they uh if he did decide to end it with ending A. Yeah. Ten percent of people wouldn't like it. Ending B, also pretty close, like 80-20. Mm -hmm. Ending C, he said only 10% of people would like, 90% <laughs> of people would hate. But that's his favorite one. Yeah. And then ending D is one that he gave up on and is like, I'm never going to use this. <laughs> but just in case I don't get to live long enough to finish this manga, let me give you the premise of ending D. That's the one that he revealed, like, mm -hmm. right in yeah. the article on ending. Yeah. Yeah. Which is basically just like... Uh, park it's back to like the first issue of Hunter Hunter. Okay. Except now instead of uh, the main character of the story, it is uh, his grandchild. Okay. And instead of wanting to be a hunter, she's like, let me do this thing that he did, and it will prove to my mom that I can not be a hunter. Oh. Because she doesn't want to go through with it like her grandfather did. Fair. Yeah. I don't know if you know anything about Hunter Hunter. I really don't. It's basically the story of Gone Freaks, which is a name. Yes. Yeah. Uh, who is the child of a hunter. Okay. Both of his parents are either dead or gone. Okay. And he is being raised by like an aunt, I think. His hmm. dad's sister. Okay. And it is him trying to be a hunter so that he can find his father. Oh. Who is also a hunter. Mm -hmm. And for some unknown reason, just isn't around. It seems like he just feels like he has better things to do. That's rude, but yeah. okay. So it's basically God trying to find his absent father. Sad. Yeah. So it kind of makes sense that this girl wouldn't have the best opinion of hunters. Yeah. Yeah. That makes sense to me. Yeah. Uh, that's... Uh basic premise if you haven't read or seen hunter hunter i do heavily recommend it uh the anime is a couple it's at least 100 episodes but it's very yeah. good but okay yeah <laughs> and like half of it is just the last arc of the anime oh the last arc is so long and so good it's incredible okay yeah so the the anime is finished the anime has an ending point that is acceptable but unsatisfying. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Like, they just ended it like I think where he had left off with the manga at that point mm. instead of trying to go on after. Okay, I mean, that makes sense. They didn't do what, like, the creators of uh, Game of Thrones did. Right, right. And just fuck it up. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, yeah, I'm rather they do what they did instead. Yeah, I'd rather yeah. them just stop before. Yeah. Before they muck it up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. What else do we got here? Let's see. Crunchyroll and its digital manga app. Yes. So, um, 
You better get in all your manga reading before December 11th, because Crunchyroll is getting rid of its digital manga app. Um, apparently, it will still offer manga, but I think you have to pay for it. I, I'm not okay. really 100% sure, because it says you can go over to their store. Okay, where you can buy manga. You can probably buy it yeah. instead of just, like... I know you can buy manga on their store. It was discounted from Black Friday. Oh, I see. I looked at the Black Friday sale. <laughs> <laughs> okay. But, yeah. Alright, so, as uh, someone that has a Crunchyroll subscription, I didn't know that you could use it to read manga. Oh. Which might be part of the reason that they're getting rid of it. That's sad. <laughs> Were you looking to read manga? No. I mean, sometimes, but I didn't know that you could read it through Crunchyroll. Yeah. I didn't know they that. They had that for like a while. Well, either they don't advertise it or I'm very oblivious or both. They advertise I'm also it. just very oblivious. So. I really don't think they advertise it much. Okay, but, good um, to know. It's unfortunate because I think that, that was that Crunchyroll was one of the better uh, manga readers. I understand. I have heard some uh, horror stories about some of them. Yeah, because like I've tried a couple of them, and then some of them are just like you have to like pay per chapter. Yeah, and I don't like that. That's like you know how much like granted like it's like cents mm -hmm. for chapters, but like that adds up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And then you, before you know it, you've spent so much money trying to read this one manga. Yeah. And, so. like, I'm sure that also, like, incentivizes not the best story structure. Yeah. Where, like, you are needing to leave it on a cliffhanger at the end of each chapter so that right. people will buy the next chapter. Yeah, that's true also. But, like, that's more for, like, smaller, yeah. smaller things. Okay. Um, I've also heard of the Square Enix store where uh, you don't pay for manga. You do pay per chapter, but you don't pay with money. You have to buy currency like you would in a video game. What? Yeah, you have to, like, buy gems with money, and then you can spend the gems on chapters. I mean, that's how some of the other stores work, too. You have to buy coins. Japan is going too far with this. <laughs> <laughs> gotcha games have gone too far. LOL. Next thing we know, they're going to have it where, like, you aren't even buying a manga. You are buying a chance for the manga that you want oh or, like, God. some digital pieces of shit that you wouldn't actually want. <laughs> They're going to, like, gotcha the manga industry. Oh, my God. That's probably never going to happen, No, it's right? not. I, I'd hope not. Hopefully. I don't think so. Yeah. But, like, they do, like, to gamify a lot of stuff. Yeah. But, uh... Stuff that doesn't need to be gamified. <laughs> But um, if you are still looking for a digital manga fix, there is still, uh, I looked up a couple of them, um, like Viz, Viz still has a pretty good one. I've heard um, good things about Viz. There's a, it's like a subscription instead of a paper episode. Yeah, it's also like cheap, right? Uh, it's like three or four dollars a yeah, month. Yeah, I think you're right. Um, like and, at that point, there's no reason to not pay for manga. Yeah, so actually I still have it pulled up. So we have it. Viz, what are you? Oh, it's with Crunchyroll, but buy Crunchyroll. <laughs> um, Viz, it didn't want to not tell me how much you are. That's okay. But, um, yeah, it is the biggest library, I think. Let's see. There's a free trial? Only $2 a month. Jeez. Oh, wow. Okay, yeah. So, I didn't expect yeah. it to be that cheap. Yeah, me neither. That must have, that has to be a sale, right? N no, it doesn't it's look just, like it. Okay. You get a seven-day free trial, and then it's $2 a month. I'd pay for that. What? Manga are on base? They have, like, a lot of big ones. They have, like, like all the big ones. Case closed? Mm -hmm. Comey can't communicate, I hear a lot about. They even have free rent? Oh, hey! We could read free rent we could read for $2 free rent. a month. <laughs> yeah. That would be worth it to me. There was, I think I saw Yasha Hime was also on there. Okay. Good night, Poon Poon. If you want to cry. Is that, are you kidding me? Have you seen Good Night Poon Poon no. or read Good Night Poon Poon or know anything about Good Night Poon Poon? No, it just sounds weird the more you say Good Night Poon Poon. <laughs> it is supposed to be like a super, super sad story. Oh. Where you will cry. Is that Poon Poon? I think this might be Poon Poon. Okay. <laughs> oh, hey, they even have some Junji Ito. Yeah. Inuyasha. Mm -hmm. Zom 100. 
So, do you know anything about Psalm 100? No. So, it is a new anime for the season, where uh, it's a zombie apocalypse kind of situation. Of course. And uh, I think it's also vaguely about uh, animators being overworked. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah. Well. Just a theme lately. <laughs> Insomniacs after school. I've heard this is cute. cute. Yeah. We haven't watched it yet, but Yeah. We could read it. Yeah. I mean if it's subs, I'm reading it anyway. Persona Persona has a manga? Yeah. I didn't know that. Do they, do they have an anime? I can't they have an anime. I don't know if Persona 5 does mm. though. Okay. Yeah, so they got a lot. Yeah. And they also have some free chapters. Awesome. Yeah. Um, Shonen Jump also has their own manga reader, which I'm assuming just has the stuff that is from the actual Shonen Jump giant manga. Yeah. Yeah. Would make sense. Um, but it's also one ninety nine a month. Jeez. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. So those are the big ones that I, that I saw. So, They're really low-balling the prices, man. I guess so. All right, so. What do we got now? My first story was the Macy's Thanksgiving Parade. <laughs> oh, no. Where the Luffy balloon, the Luffy balloon no, hit a tree oh, oh, no. and started deflating mid-parade. No. Have you seen One Piece? I've seen some of One Piece. Yeah. We started the live action. Yeah. This is his first parade. <laughs> this was his first parade? No. That's so sad. Oh, no, Just immediately no. dies. No! Aww. Oh. That giant arm, though. I know, right? <laughs> That's unfortunate. Yeah. That's funny. Yeah. It's unfortunate, though. It's so unfortunate. That's a good balloon. <laughs> and now it's gone. Can they, I mean, can they, they can, like, fix patch that? that? I'm sure they can patch Okay. That. I don't know. If you can patch a tire, I'm sure you can patch a Macy's Thanksgiving balloon. balloon. Yeah. That makes sense to me. All right. And then also, uh, oh, something I forgot to add in the Jujutsu Kaisen story. Yeah. Uh, in one of the new episodes, an office building is destroyed. The animators designed it after the office building that they're working in. As, like, a big fuck you to the animation company. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Oh, jeez. Yeah. All right, so next up, this is one that I actually had uh, for our planned Halloween stream that did not work out well. Uh, so Dragon Ball has mm -hmm. a new series coming out next year called mm -hmm. Dragon Ball Daima. Okay. Daima does not have like a one-to-one -one English translation. It could mean something like Dragon Ball Magic, Dragon Ball Evil. Okay. Yeah. So it's just that kind of vibe. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so, concept is everyone in the story, now a child. Okay. Goku's a child, Bulma's a child, Vegeta's a child, Piccolo's a child. Okay, but what about the people that were already children? Don't ask me. Okay. But Master Roshi's a child. Okay. We got to see baby Master Roshi. Not baby, but you know what I mean. Younger Master yeah. Roshi. Yeah, like, 12-year-old Master Roshi. He's still bald, I think. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> And, uh, yeah, I'm pretty excited for this. Yeah. It is apparently, uh, the most Akira, Akira Toriyama has worked on an, a Dragon Ball thing in a long time, since 1995. Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay. In, like, 30 years. Yeah. Uh, this is set to come out next fall. They've been working on this for multiple years at this point, which is much better than, uh, Jujutsu Kaisen, where they're putting out episodes in, like, two weeks. Yeah. Uh. So, I don't know if you know this, uh, average, like, animation time for one anime episode is, like, one month per episode. Okay. So, the fact that they're spending two years working on this, it has me feeling pretty good about the quality of the yes. show that's going to come out. And also, uh, the art style has changed a bit. Akira Toriyama's art style generally changes over the years, I mean, but it always yeah. looks like Dragon Ball. And I kind of like the new style. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. It's a bit more chibi-y. Okay. But, like, not in a bad way. 
Okay. Not in like a, it looks less refined way. Okay. Does that make sense? I think so. Okay. Uh, one thing that I am a little upset about, though. Come on. This is Goku. Let, let's go through the pictures. See if we can get something better. <laughs> Goku. Yeah! <laughs> oh, she has children. Good. Hercule? Yeah! Hey, he got his hair back. LOL. Aw, Krillin just looks the same. <laughs> Krillin just looks the same. 18. <laughs> okay, the baby's a yeah. baby. Yamcha. Yes. Piccolo. Baby Piccolo. <laughs> baby Ox King. Oh my god. Baby Master oh, Roshi. No. That is not a 12-year-old baby. <laughs> it looks like a 12-year-old, no? I don't know. I don't know. Goku's like 12 there, probably. That's what he looked like when he was 12. That's true. Uh, vaguely, the one thing that upsets me is that is what uh, Goku looks like in Dragon Ball Daima, right? Yes. Let's look up OG Goku from the Dragon Ball series. Of course, you're getting Dragon Ball Z. This is Goku from Dragon Ball. <laughs> he needs the baby chub. It makes him look, uh... More of a child? Like, more of a child, but also, like, less... Mature? Less... What's the word I'm looking for here? It increases the innocence. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm a little upset that they didn't bring that back with all of them. Right. Because they could have. They could have. But, yeah, generally, I'm excited for this. Uh, I know a lot of Dragon Ball fans are not because uh, they weren't a fan of how GT also de-aged everyone. Or it not everyone, but everyone. like four people and only one of them was a main character. Yeah. Yeah, but we retconned that. It's yeah. fine. Yeah, that never happened. Yeah. Have you seen Dragon Ball GT? Yes. Okay. <laughs> Did you know like it? I don't know if I saw all of it. Okay. But like, I don't know. I didn't, I did not like it. Okay. I... Liked that they went back to, like, the action-adventure story. Yeah. As opposed to just the, here, fight this world-ending threat. <laughs> yeah. Like, them just trouncing, traipsing around space. That was fun. Yeah. Pan, while annoying... I loved Pan. Yeah. Yeah. She was a big part of, like, driving the story because she was inept. <laughs> and then also, uh, Super Saiyan 4 looks so cool. Do you know what Super the, Saiyan 4 looks like? Is that the red monkey looking? That's the red monkey looking thing. I don't know about that. I like that better than just, it's a Super Saiyan, but with blue hair. That they do <laughs> That's fair. That just seems so much more lame than, oh, you have red fur all over your body now, and your hair is spiky, but it also lays down. Like, aesthetically, that cool. was a lot cooler. Yeah. To guess, me, anyway. Yeah, if that's the comparison, then I guess I, I understand. Yeah, I don't know how much of Super you've seen, or if you care. Is it just the the tractor scene? <laughs> <laughs> the best scene in all of Dragon Ball Super. Yeah, it's fun. <laughs> I right. should watch more of that. Yes. Uh, as far as we know, uh, we don't know if there's going to be more Dragon Ball Super put out. Oh. Yeah. It finished with the Tournament Tower, and we don't know if there will be more. That's sad. Yeah. For uh, that reason. There were several more chapters in the anime. There's yeah. Some more arcs that they have not gone into that sound interesting. And I want to read them <laughs> because I don't know if there will ever be an anime of it. Okay. Especially with them now working on Dragon Ball Daima. Right. That's true. Yeah. That's the other thing that Dragon Ball fans are upset about. They're like, why are you working on this new thing? When we Where everyone more... is a child. Yeah. When there's like two or three good arcs left. Yeah. I, yeah. I understand the frustration. Understandable. Yeah. Uh, other fun thing coming up is Spy X Family movie. Ooh. Comes Spy out. Family? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it comes out uh, December 22nd in Japan. Ooh. Crunchyroll has said it will have a release date in the United States in early 2024. Cool. With cool. both uh, sub and dub showings. 
you know, kind of like Demon Slayer. And I figure we can uh, watch this. baby. <laughs> なんて素晴らしっこい奴らなんだ。動いてないけどな。このままでは東西戦争の引き金に。ファム。この娘を殺せ。ダメ。ダメ。ダメ。ダメ。ダメ。ダメ。ダメ。ダメ。ダメ。ダメ。ダメ。ダメ。ダメ。ダメ。ダメ。ダメ。ダメ。ダメ。ダメ。ダメ。
Okay. So Webtoons, also a good place to go if you want a manga-like fix. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, really good. Season 1 came out in 2020, and there was no update after that. No. Oh. Until, like, a week ago. A couple weeks ago. Okay. That there would be a Season 2 coming out next year. Oh, yeah. I actually wanted to watch the Solo Lovely trailer, because I haven't seen it. You okay with that? Sure. Here we go. I don't know what this is about. That is not full screen. That's okay. There we go. Looks pretty so far. Lots of blue. Yes. Interesting. There's been no animation so far. <laughs> I'm really hoping this isn't like the way that Way of the House Husband was animated. I was just about to say. Where it's not actually animated and right. it's just like frames that you are looking at. Looking at and like sliding between. Let's, uh, let's see if there's a newer one. Well, that's the official trailer. Here we go. Now, for a few years ago, the gate of the gate was called the gate of the gate. Here we go. Oh, that's the gate. That's more promising. Here we go. 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 That's more まさか意地張って反対を続けてるんじゃないですよね。いいんです。お願いを忘れるだけだし、家族の中で働けるのも俺だけ。俺には金がいるんだ。行きます。シンヌさん、あの大きな石像、私たちのことを見てたんです。み
and making a video game and uh Roger Ebert's critic corner. You know these these I games. The last play. one you just said I had no idea, but okay. Okay. Uh we are going to use this uh light novel title generator. And then uh, get a title for a light novel that then we will come up with a story for. Okay. Yeah. I figure light novel titles usually give you a lot to go on. Yeah, considering they're like a whole sentence. Yeah. So, uh, you want to go with your name first or mine? Uh, we'll put your name. My name? Yeah. All right. Here we go. Diagnose me. Oh, no. Oh, oh no. Oh, no. My twin is an alien and my older sister is my girlfriend. Okay, okay. So, first of all, let's address the older sister being your girlfriend. This obviously that has to be a remarriage, like, stepsister thing, right? You don't know that. But normally, they try to pull it off as, like, that kind of situation. See, I was going to really lean into the my twin is an alien part and go into the... What an older sister is also an alien. Yeah. And the whole family is aliens. Okay. And I'm the only one that's not an alien. So technically, not my older sister. And I was just a weird embryo that they came up with. No? No? <laughs> I Or or we go with a reincarnation route mm -hmm. where he is an alien. <laughs> Yeah. But he got, because he got reincarnated mm. as an alien. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. So, are we both aliens? Me and my twin? Everyone here is an alien. Everyone here is an alien? Well, and maybe in not this alien society, my older sister is fine to date. <sighs> Why are they going to throw that in? Why are they going to throw that in there? Yeah, I know, right? Right off the bat, man. Incest right off the bat. Yeah. Starting the day off strong. So, I, Drizzle, have a twin. Yes. My twin is an alien. Yes. What would you define as an alien? Wait. Well, like, by definition, the alien doesn't belong in the normal society, mm -hmm. correct? Mm -hmm. So does that mean, like, y'all just have an alien... Like, family situation? Or, like, the whole society is alien and someone else is discovering all this? I would say an alien family situation is what I'm imagining. Okay. So does that mean that, like, my mom was fertilized with an alien embryo while pregnant with me? And we were both born at the same time? Wait, wait, wait. So are you not an alien, but your twin is yes. alien? Yes. Exactly. Not I'm not an alien, but my twin is an alien. I still say, okay, at that point, I still say that this alien was reincarnated into this normal human baby. Okay, so my twin is a normal human baby, but with the memories of an alien. Okay. And then how does my sister wind up as my girlfriend? The hard part. That's the hard part. Is that the hard part? Why is my sister being my girlfriend the hard part? Part. Because it's not right. It's not right. It's not right. Having a twin alien. That's fine. Dating your sister. I'm not that much from Arkansas. <laughs> oh no. Yeah. Uh, older sister is my girlfriend. How do we make that make sense? Is it like an older step situation? Yeah, your mom remarries. What if? Yes. It's not my sister. Is it? It's my alien twin's actual alien sister. Uh -huh. From before they died. Who is now pretending to be my sister and has now convinced our mom that uh, they are our sister. So they're of the like shape shifting yes. into being your sister? Yes, exactly. Did they kill off your actual sister? No, there was no actual sister. So then how are they, they hypnotized the mom? Uh -huh. Yeah. People at school are real weirded out by it. But I know she's not actually my sister. So it's fine. 
And also the shape shifting. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like that's the only way this can make sense. <laughs> the only it's the only way it, we can make me dating my older sister make sense. Is she's not my older sister. She's my twin's older sister, but not mine. This is like some soap opera shit, man. Yeah. I mean, isn't that what light novels are? That is what light novels yeah. are. Good. D did we solve this one? I think we did. Okay. Yeah. All right. All right. Let's go back. Will it let you do another one? Yes. Here we go. Why again? We'll star in. Oh no! My girlfriend is a Shotokan and my neighbor a robot? What's a Shotokan? First of all, mm -hmm. I think that's the wrong gender. Because I Shota is usually used for little boys. You know, like a lolly? Okay. Oh no! What is this happening? I don't like this. Uh, yeah, we'll we'll find a different generator for the next one, man. Maybe we can find one with like, like tables, and we can like roll dice on them or have people pick numbers or something. But we gotta work with it. So your girlfriend is into little boys, and your neighbor is a robot. Here, wait, no. Let, let me let me Google what actually showed up on. We we can do that on stream. That's fine. Oh, no, what if it's illegal? <laughs> Here we go. Genre of manga and anime wherein prepubescent or pre uh, pubescent male characters are depicted in a suggestive or erotic so manner. So why is my girlfriend a little boy? Oh. That's what I'm saying. Oh. This is even more convoluted. What is a Shota? Yeah. Yeah, so like, you know the little- but that's the genre. So does that mean like your girlfriend is into the genre? No, my girlfriend is- Okay. So like, you know like the, the rabbit in Fruits Basket? Yes. Yeah, like that. The rabbit in Fruits Basket. He's okay. A little, little You're right, I forgot. Sexual little boy. A sexual little boy, oh no. Let's, let's try and get you a different one. <laughs> Let's try it without the capital. No! Oh, no! I don't like... What did you do? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what's wrong with your name. My Mine was fine. My god. And she's also changing gender. This At is the least same got thing. got the genders this right. Is, no, because it's changing gender. <laughs> this is the same exact thing. So your twin could be a lollicon and a shotokan. Yes. Yeah. But also you're 29, so so is your twin. I mean 30. Mm. But I guess if... There's just a lot of shape shifting going on here. Not even shape shifting, they just look young. I guess. I guess that happens yeah. anyway. Like, you know, have you watched um No, I don't know. I was gonna say Food Wars. I don't remember the one in Food Wars. Okay, that's fair. I was gonna say the you, you know that one where like she breaks the, the, the pot and then she has to like she has to what? She's in like the 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 group where the guys are like fan servicey. Oh yes. What am I talking about? I almost said fruits basket, but that's no. not right. It's like, is that the one with the opening? It's like kiss, kiss, fall in love. Yeah. Yeah. What is it? I don't remember. Or in high school host club. Oh my god! Yes, thank <laughs> you. Yeah, there's also another little blonde boy. Why are they always blind? That's just the that's just the the. Um, Everyone knows you're very uh, horny and sexual if you're blind and a boy. And like you look like you're twelve, even yeah. though you're in high school. It's just blonde boys doing what blonde boys do. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Is it, I'm not fucking with this. You're not fucking with this. No. Okay, all right. We'll, we'll we'll try it. We'll try a different. One thing. more time. Yeah, third time's the charm. My actual name. Yes. My sensei is in love with me and my wife <laughs> is not <laughs> fair. Is that better? A little. There's no child problems in this it, one. This is true. Well. Well, 
Yeah, because the sen- so my waifu is now a bear, so my sensei is like, I, they have no chance anymore, because you can't possibly love a bear. The sensei's in love with me now. Yeah. Yeah. But was your sensei in love with your waifu, or like you were just with your waifu? Was it your actual waifu, like you were married to this woman and now she's a bear? Is a waifu and a wife two different things? I don't know. <laughs> Reddit Google so many anime terms. Maybe we are not qualified to make this podcast. Fictional female character to whom one is romantically attracted and considers to be their significant other. So I'm not actually with my waifu. No. But I but I uh, am attracted to my waifu. Little does my sensei know I'm more attracted to my waifu now that she is a bear. <laughs> <laughs> so what I'm imagining is the story for this anime is. Your sensei finds out that your waifu is a literal bear. Yes. And then proceeds to become more bear-like and try to show you how much of a bear he is. <laughs> or she is. Over the course of the anime, to get you to fall in love with them. I don't know why I assumed my sensei was a man. <laughs> I feel like it fits the bear motif more. <laughs> <laughs> That's all. You, you have a better idea? No, that's, that's pretty good. <laughs> okay. <Yeah. laughs> so that was it for uh, We Make an Anime yep. for each of us. <laughs> Mine was a problem. A little bit. <laughs> Took three tries, but we yeah, got it. We got it. <laughs> we got it without the CP. CP? Yeah. Child police? Close enough. I don't know. <laughs> Communist party? Uh- <laughs> All right, so... We figured we'd finish things off by uh, doing this tier list. Jason. Of 100 anime. The top 100 anime. How do we know what they are? Uh, we gotta recognize Wait, what you, anime they you are. you hover over them, do they say anything? No. Mason! How is this gonna work? I don't know any of these. We gotta. Okay. We gotta figure it out. Okay. That's part of the process. Okay. Alright, so. What is this one? I don't know it. Cool. That's why there's that one. What's this, is this one? Name? Is this your name? This is your name. Oh. I don't know what this is. I don't know what that is either. We will put that there too. I don't know what that is. What is that? I don't know. What is that? I think this is Haikyuu? Sure. Which I have not seen. Have you seen it? No. Are you interested in seeing it? Probably not. Okay. Here's Code Geass. I have never seen it. I've never seen it. I have no intention of watching it. It looks ugly as shit. That's rude as fuck. Maybe. But maybe it should look better. (laughs) All right. Next up, Spirited Away. I've seen it. Where would you rank Spirited Away? I guess it's not something that I was like that into. I'd say at least a B. I've seen it like 12 times. Do you like it? I love it. You love it? Yeah, I would put it S tier. Really? Yeah, I loved this one so much. Maybe I need to watch it again. That's fine. Also, love the fact that uh, it is Lilo's voice actor. I did not like that. I had to watch it in in (laughs) subs. I was like, all I hear is Lilo. Now who's rude? <laughs> I, don't, I love this movie so much. I rented it so much that my mom actually bought it for me on VHS. Aww. Yeah. VHS. <laughs> That's real. Yep. Uh, next up is Made in Abyss. I've never seen Which it. you have not seen. I, have not. I love it. It's yeah? such a good horror anime. Really? Yes. Okay. It's got to be at least A tier. Okay. Like, high A tier. Mm. Here is Your Lie in April. Yes. Which we have seen, and you might remember more than I do. I put it in A. Yeah? It made me cry. Yeah, it made me cry too. I don't remember how it ended. All I know is that I spoiled it for you by misremembering how it ended and telling you how that happened. (laughs) When I thought like I was telling you the wrong thing. Mason, that's why you just don't tell me any ending whatsoever. Yeah. Apparently. I thought I got it wrong. (laughs) <laughs> anyway, who knows what this is? I don't know what that is. Who knows what this is? Is that, like, that's not Grand Logan. I think that's Grand Logan. I haven't seen it. I, this is an anime I want to watch. Most people whose anime opinions I respect say this is one of their favorites. Really? Which makes me want to see it. Okay. But the fact that it looks mechish turns me off, because I've never liked a mech anime so Yeah. Far. Alright, Mushishi, another thing on my watch list. I've never heard of it. 
I think it's another one with like vibes. Okay. Kind of like Free Red. Mm-hmm. And after watching Free Red, I think this might be something that I want to check out. That's fair. Full Metal Alchemist. We're going to say Brotherhood. Haven't finished it. S tier. Okay. So good. Really? Really good. Great ending. I don't know. So it's satisfying. Don't tell me what and then they make a movie and they ruin everything. Really? Yeah. Don't watch the movie. Okay. <laughs> this, I have not seen. What is that, Baki or something? No, it's like something no Ippo. Uh, it's a boxing anime. I don't I hear it. it's good. I don't really care. JoJo's, we have seen like a season of. We have to put it, I feel like we have to put it and watch this because we have to give it another try. We gotta give it another try. Our friends Thunder and Lightning love JoJo's. We gotta, we gotta watch it for yeah. them. Here's more of that Ippo guy, so we'll just go ahead. And... <laughs> Princess Mononoke. Princess okay. Mononoke. I've seen it once. Mm -hmm. You've seen it. This is your favorite thing. Yes, this so. was my favorite Ghibli movie. Okay. Yes. Okay. This one made me cry and super afraid of leprosy. <laughs> What a side effect. Okay. I was afraid of leprosy for like a good 20 years because of this movie. Oh my god. And yet you live where armadillos are. Yeah, it's fine. Hmm. Would you ever pet an armadillo? I would want to. I yeah. want to pick it up. I thought it was a basketball. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. It's fine. Leprosy is very hard to get. That's good. That's the only reason I've stopped being afraid of leprosy. <laughs> Finding out that one, it is very hard to get. And two, uh, we have a lot of drugs for it. That's good. Yeah. Huh. And then maybe you'll be lucky and get, like, the pretty leprosy, which just makes you look more youthful. Oh, yeah. Because that's a thing. I saw it on House. I have no idea what this is. Is that Roroni Kenshin? Well, say it is. Have you seen Roroni Kenshin? Yeah, I've seen parts of it. All right, where would you put Roroni Kenshin? I've only seen parts of it. Okay. B or C. All right, I'll go B. Okay. I watched all of Roroni Kenshin, the original series. It was good. I would watch it again. Okay. Which makes me say B. Okay, like, that's fair. It was not good enough for me to remember what happened in it, though. Yeah. Uh, and then there's also the fact that uh, the creator had a ton of child porn. Ooh. That's and, like, so much that the police thought he was distributing it. Ew. Yeah, like, hard drives full. That's a lot. Yeah. So, uh, don't support Roroni Kenshin. Don't buy it. Don't watch it on a service where you would be paying money for it. <laughs> Just pirate it. Yeah. It's fine. Just, uh, sell those seas. Because there is a new Rurouni Kenshin series out right now. I didn't know Where that. they are remaking it. Okay. Yeah. I have no... Is this One Punch Man? That's One Punch Man. One Punch okay. Man is so good. Yeah, We've seen sure. season one. We have not seen season two yet. So, like, A? I'd go A. Yeah. Better or worse than You Were Lie in April? Better. Okay. <laughs> Just making sure. Yeah. I love season one. I hear season two is not as good of a quality. Oh, yeah. I heard about that. Yeah. We should watch it, though. Yeah. Because I hear it's still good. Okay. Also, just the, the swimming scene. Okay. <laughs> I love it so much. I remember now. Yeah. It's fun. I don't know what this is. I can't tell what that is. Is this like wolf children or something? I don't know. We're going to put it there. Yeah, Promise Neverland. Bad. We saw season one. I thought it was pretty good. I loved Promise Neverland. Okay. I'd put it in B. Okay. Season two, I hear, it ruins the whole thing. They skip like four arcs of the manga. Oh. And then try to make it make sense, and they do a horrible job. Sad. Yeah. Okay. So uh, we're probably not going to pick up season two. Sadness. Uh, fate Stay Night or Fate, fate whatever? Fate That's Stay Night. I've seen it. It's been decades. Same. I don't remember anything about it. C? 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 If we don't remember it, how could it, it possibly been? I vaguely remember some of it, but fate in general seems overly complicated. Yeah. I have no idea what this is. I don't. It just looks like a guy smoking a cigarette. I thought it was eating soup. <laughs> eating soup? I don't know. And then what is this thing? I'm old. I need better eyes. Can I zoom in? There's got to be a way to zoom in. <laughs> Control. Control. Or shift. There we go. There we go. Let's make this bigger because <laughs> we're old. What is that? That didn't help at all. What is that? I have no idea. I don't know what that is. Never that didn't it. help. No idea what this is. Just put it there. Your name. That was good. Your name was really good. It was really good. A? 
A? I- I'd go with A. I'd put it in A. I'd put it better than One Punch Man. What yeah, about you? that's fine. Okay. It was not better than Made in Abyss. Okay. Made in Abyss is so good. I'll have to watch it. I have not seen the new season, but I've seen season one and the movies. Okay. And it's so good. Okay. I have no idea what this is. I can't is. tell what that is. I... Is this Gurren Lagann? Oh. Then what is that? I get Gurren Lagann and Black Lagoon mixed up. Oh. I don't know which one's which. Is this Black Lagoon? I thought Black Lagoon had the that lady. Okay, so this is Black Lagoon. Do you want to see that? Have you seen it? No, I don't care. Okay, cool. I also don't know what this is. It looks like something I'd watch, but I don't know what it is. Same. My, My hero. hero. A? A tier? I, I like it. A tier. Better, better or worse than, than... Better than your line, April. Better or worse than One Punch Man. Better? Honestly. Okay. Better or worse than your name? Let's put it there. Okay. We have not seen all of My Hero Academia. No. We're like two seasons behind at this point. But it's been pretty good and it seems like it's getting better. Yeah. We're gonna watch that. Yeah. Like, uh, I loved the Overdrive fight. Do you remember Overdrive? I don't remember. The guy with the, like, bird beak mask? Oh. That was so good. And I love uh, Chameleonaire's character so much. Chameleonaire, yeah. thank you for calling him that. <laughs> <laughs> He's my favorite character, possibly in any anime. What's his actual name? Uh, Mirio. Or what's his like? Lamillion. Lamillion. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> and I really, his character makes me want to get into using Blender because I want to design a statue of him. <laughs> That's just him, butt ass naked, going through a wall. And you get, like, no genitals, but, like, abs and head and arms coming out one side. And then just, like, his bare ass on the other side of the wall. <laughs> Chaotic. Because I feel like that would be an amazing statue. That would be hilarious. Okay, okay. Monster. I want to watch that. I want to watch that. I think it's going to be on Netflix soon. Really? Yes. Oh, good. Death Note. Good. Uh, you finish Death Note? I watched the good part. Yeah. Alright, so Death Note would be an S tier if it ended at a certain point. I'm not going to spoil it. That's fine. But so because overall, it doesn't, it might be like a low A. Yeah? Yeah. That's fine. Yeah. Like, I, I'd i go Your Lie in April over watching okay. Death Note again. Yeah. They Between these two, I would rather maybe. rewatch this one. Yeah. Because like I said, I never, I never finished Death Note because I was told, like, it doesn't really matter. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, nothing after a certain point in that show matters, <laughs> and it's so sad because it starts off so strong. I don't know what this is. I don't know. Is that Yakuza's Guide to Babysitting? I don't know. I don't know. What is that? That looks like something I'd watch. That does look like something you'd watch. But Have I, you seen it? I don't know what it is. All right, cool. What about this? I don't know what that is either. Me either. Cool. Did we, did we watch that? I think we've watched that, but I have no idea what it is. It was like something, not, like, not across the universe, like something to the edge of the world or something. Uh, good question. <laughs> I don't know. Okay. So, this is Steins Gate. This has been on my to-watch list for a while. Uh, strangely, Funimation has the dub to this. It did not get moved to Crunchyroll. Hmm. I started watching the dub to this. And it made me remember uh, how bad dubs used to be. So I should just watch this up on a crunchy roll. But I hear this is really good. Mm. Is this Assassination Classroom? I've never seen it. Because that's the yellow guy? It, it probably I've never seen it. I don't have any intention to watch it really? at any point. Okay. Because I have no idea what it's about. You could find out. We could. All right, so Ping Pong the Animation. Excuse me? Is on my to-watch list. Okay. I hear it is pretty. I hear it is very intense and good. Any thoughts? I've never heard of it. I don't really want to watch a Ping Pong anime. So, like, I don't know, man. Let's see. Ping Pong the Animation. Despite being polar opposites, Makoto, Smile, Tsukimoto and Yutaka, Peko, Hoshino have been best friends since childhood. 
although the overly confident Pecco strives to be the best ping pong player in the world, he often skips practice, earning the ire of his fellow teammates on the Katase High School ping pong team. Meanwhile, Smile, in spite of his innate talent for the sport, cannot help but hold back his full strength from playing against others. Through their mutual love for ping pong, the two have developed a bond that is seemingly unbreakable. When Pecco hears that an ex-national player from China is coming to Japan, he directs Smile over to rival Sujido High School to observe them. So the subsequent trip leads to a clash between Pecco and Kong Wang, who overwhelmingly defeats the former in one game. Stunned by such a comprehensive loss, Pecco finds himself questioning why he plays to begin with. Seeing his potential as a player, Katase's coach begins to train Smile to overcome his hesitation. He is reluctant to play if it is not for the enjoyment. As the two struggle to find meaning in the sport, a plethora of strong players, each with their own internal strifes, await them at the inter-high inter tournament, where only the very best can persevere. But when these young athletes let their unbridled ambition go unchecked, the hardships they face paint a somber reality as they pursue glory. That sounds so intense for just anime. For just a ping pong. For anime. just ping pong. Here's the trailer. <sighs> That's probably better. He looks down on us all. Oh, it's ugly. That's why he's playing in so many matches. Nobody on our team's good enough to practice again. Lay off, Emota. What's with the permanent friend? I wouldn't anyway? watch this. I try to avoid emotional oh, extremes. Why does this look like if then King of the smiled. Hill was an anime? He's dumb, Peiko. I can't teach him. He just keeps sucking. I get it. I showed him how to play ping pong. The dude but smiled I don't like, like crazy. Do you think I'll okay. ever be like you, Peiko? That's fair. Alright, so that's Ping Pong the Animation. I want to watch it at some point. You can do that. Alright, next up is Psyche K. Have you seen Psyche K? I have not. Me either. I don't care about it. Uh, I'm not going to say only annoying people are into it. That's just been my experience as a person. <laughs> oh no. I have no idea what this one is. I don't know. We have not seen a lot of these animes. Because I can't tell out. what they are. Do you know what this is? No. Me either. I can't tell what it is. There's just a bunch of colors going on there. All right, here we go is uh, Violet Evergarden. I haven't seen it. I kind of want to see it. I want to see it. I have not finished. I've seen like three episodes. Okay. It's another vibey anime. Okay. It's like slice of life, but the life is interesting. Can I appreciate? No is idea. That... Oh. Is that just a penguin? Yeah, it is a penguin. Okay, cool. Why don't you, they name these? They should really name things. That's a common problem on a tier list. I don't know what this is. I don't know what that is either. I don't know what that is. Who knows what this is? Or this? No idea. This I want to see, but I cannot remember the name of it. We watched Oh, I. this is not what I thought it was. This is Erased. Yeah, we watched that. Yeah. Where would you put Erased? A or B. I liked it more than Death Note. Okay. Oh yeah, if it's if it's better than Death Note, put it yeah, above Should Death we Note. move Death Note down? Like, it's better than Rurouni Kenshin. Okay, yeah. If that's Rurouni Kenshin. If that's Rurouni Kenshin, I don't. But we're it. saying that's Rurouni Kenshin, which is the main thing. <laughs> All right, is this another Fate thing? Because it looks a lot like this. It does, doesn't it? It might be another Fate thing. It might. We'll just say this is where we rank Fate as a franchise. That's fair. <laughs> Good, which is ranking Fate as a C. I think I've seen like two Fate series. I don't remember either of them. It's okay. They were just kind of mid. Yeah, that's fine. What is this? I have no idea what this is. I can't tell what half these things are. Can I zoom in more? Nope. Not really. There we go. Sack, second gig. No idea. I don't know what that is. This is, uh, I think this is another Studio Ghibli movie. Yeah. Something about Fireflies, maybe? Grave of the Fireflies? Oh, I don't know. I haven't seen it. But it's Studio Ghibli, so I'll put it in the watch list. Okay. That sounds reasonable. Yeah. This is a basketball anime. I don't remember the name of it. I hear it's good, but I don't care. Okay. What about you? Uh, generally, if it's sports, I don't care about it. Yeah, the only sports anime I've watched is free, and that's because I love swimming. <laughs> okay. This one, I do not know the name of. Me neither. But it is on my watch list. Okay. 
and I cannot remember anything about it except for this picture because it looked interesting. They're astronauts? Yeah. Okay. I don't know what the sleeping girl is. I don't know either. I don't know who these men in track suits are. <laughs> are track suits that common in Japan? I, I think so. Okay. Uh, One here piece. is One Piece. Neither of us has seen One Piece. Do you, you want to see watch One it? Piece? I feel like from what I hear about One Piece, it's really good. But it's so long. But it takes like 50 or 60 episodes to get good. I thought you were going to say 50 or 60 years to watch. <laughs> I mean that too. Yeah. Man, there's like over a thousand episodes at this point, right? Oh my God. I'll put it on the watch list because I feel like it deserves that in the way that like Jojo does. Okay. Like I have enough people that I trust that have told me to watch it and that it's good. Hello. Hunter, Hunter. I would put it above Full Metal Alchemist. Really? Yeah. Okay, then I guess I gotta watch. The problem with Hunter Hunter is... So, Bo's gone. Right. Gone's like a 10-year-old. Right. Killua, his friend. Yeah. Also like a 10-year-old. Right. They are 10-year-olds. Right. They act like 10-year-olds. Okay. Which I feel like doesn't happen that often in anime. Yes. And that can sometimes be annoying. Okay. But also, just the sheer world building in yeah. this anime is so good. And the investment in the characters, especially in the last arc of the anime, mm. is really intense. There's a reason it takes, like, how long is... Let's, let's Google. How long is the Chimera and arc anime? 61 episodes. Yikes, for one arc? For one arc. Oh my god. And it's really good. <gasps> you feel like you're going to get tired of it and you don't. Okay. Yeah. Like, that's longer than Death Note for one arc of uh, Hunter x Hunter. That's crazy. Yeah. I do recommend it. I watched it all, I think, this year. Sorry, I was just getting a better look at... <laughs> I don't ones. know what this is. I don't know what that is either. Well, we'll put this here. We've seen that. On Ohana? Yeah. Where do you want to put that? I don't remember much of it. You want to put it in, like, B? Above, yeah. Above... Above Death Note? Yeah. yeah, I'd agree with that. Okay. Like, it was... I don't think it was as good as your line in April. I don't think it was as good as Erased. Yeah. But it was definitely it was something good. I watched and might rewatch. Yeah. Definitely more than Death Note. Mm-hmm. I don't know what this is. Me neither. This definitely looks like it was made in the 90s, and I have no idea what it is. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what that is either. No idea. I don't know what that is either. Nope. We never finished that next one. We never finished Rascal Dreams of Funny Girl Senpai. So watch list? We'll watch list that, because that was interesting. Yeah. And I think there's a season two out now. Okay. Food Wars. Food Wars. So good. We've seen like two or three seasons of Food Wars. And it's been good and it's been and getting better. it's been better. good every time. S tier? S tier? I'd put it below Full Metal Alchemist. That's fine. S tier. That's fine. I really <sighs> liked it. If I put this in S tier, I also need to put this in S tier. I don't know what that is. This is uh, Made in Abyss. Oh, okay. Okay. That work for you? That's fine. Okay. I'll see. I haven't seen it. I don't really plan on... I've tried watching it. I would try again. Okay. These aren't in any particular order. No. <laughs> Parasite? Parasite. I like Parasite. Where um, would you put it? I mean, like, it didn't really... It, it wasn't, like, super fulfilling, so I'd put it, like, either... Probably a B. Above or below Death Note? Probably below. Okay. Better yeah. than, uh... Promise Neverland. Didn't move Promise Neverland at least above, at least above Veronica Kenshin. Okay. I'll I'll agree with that. What is that? Some eighties or nineties anime that we've never heard of. More sports anime. Is this Evangelion? I don't know. Which we've never seen and have no interest in seeing. Uh, Samurai, Samurai Champloo. Champloo. I've seen some of it. I really don't care for it. I liked it a lot. Really? Yeah. Okay. I uh, like the vibes. Uh, it's also made by the same guy that did uh, Cowboy Bebop. Oh. And I like this a lot more than Cowboy Bebop. Okay. Cowboy Bebop is... Uh, 
it might be because I watched the dub and like they weren't as well produced back then. Hmm. But uh it just doesn't vibe well to me. Okay. Have you seen Cowboy Bebop? No, I didn't. Or tried to? I tried to when it was on Adult Swim, but like it was it was sci-fi and the animation wasn't like amazing, so I was just like ah. Okay. Yeah, this was back like 90s animation. Yeah. Samurai Champloo, better animation. Uh better music. It not as jazzy, more like hip hop and yeah, yeah, which I appreciated. It was the music was good. I really don't remember anything about it though. And uh, more comedic elements. Yeah. So like I would say that's better than Cowboy Bebop. Uh, I don't know what this is. Forget what that is. I think that's something I wanted to watch and might be problematic, but I think I want to watch it. Okay, we'll put it on the uh, watch list. Is this some more Shotokan stuff? It might be not Shotokan, but Lolicon? like Lolicon. Yeah. What's this? I have no idea what this is. I don't know either. Nana was good. Nana made me cry. Nana was a good story. Yeah? Where would you put Nana? Solid A. Solid A? Yeah. Alright. Above My Hero? Maybe below My Hero, but above One Punch Man. Okay. Baseball anime. Don't care. Don't care. I have no idea what this is. I don't know. Yu Yu Hakusho. Yu Yu Hakusho. Where would you put that? You've seen all of it? I've seen all of it several times. Yeah, I know. So where would you put it? Season 1, amazing. Yeah. Season 2, amazing. Season 3, amazing. Season 4, a bit of a letdown. <laughs> How many seasons are there? Four. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, it's really good. I've rewatched it several times. I Nostalgia wants me to say it's an S-tier show. Uh, realistically, I feel like it might go just above One Punch Man. Okay. Like, Dark Tournament Arc is one of the best tournament arcs in any anime. Okay. Season 3 uh, inspired little me to have so many ideas about superpowers. <laughs> That's cute. Alright, Berserk. Haven't seen Have it. not seen it. I hear the anime is bad. But I really, really want to read the manga. I've read some chapters of it. It's good. It's interesting. The world is cool. The art's amazing. Okay. Which I think is the reason that people didn't like the anime. Mm. Is the art just can't hold up. I have no idea what this is. I can't tell what that is. This is Black Butler. What's this? Is that the Black Butler guy? I think this is Black Butler. Do you care for it? I will never watch that show. Like, it's not even just, like, a never see it. It's like a... We're, we're going to add a new category. Add a category. <laughs> we we got to zoom out so we can add a new category. Oh, fuck. We, we got to zoom out so we can add a new category. Yeah, the, just, we'll never watch? Yeah. <laughs> to watch but why it's not good is it not it's just repetitive not good it's bad oh it's bad that's like me and like Jiko Gusho Joe it was repetitive and my cousins really liked it and between the both of that it made me piss me off when they watched yeah that's fair <laughs> even Gilly <laughs> yeah Okay. That's another one that I'm never going to watch. Attack on Titan. We've seen like two and a half seasons or it's something. It's okay. It's okay. Like B? A? B? 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 Low B? Better than Death Note? Low Better than Promise Death Neverland? Death. Okay. I think I would rather watch Samurai Champloo okay. or Parasite than uh, That's fair. Attack on Titan. Armin. Armin was the killer for yeah. me. Like, the world building, really cool. Yeah. The premise, really cool. The characters. The characters make the show suck. <laughs> I could not watch that. It could have been so good. It could have been. But they uh, can't write people. I think this is Bacano. I've never heard or seen of it. Which is both supposed to be really good and is supposed to be one of the best anime dubs. 
Okay. As in, like, the dub adds a lot of extra stuff to it mm. that makes it better. Okay. Not in the way that uh, Ghost Stories does. <laughs> if Ghost Stories was on here, where would you put it? <laughs> yeah, it's at least a B tier, yeah, right? It's, B. <laughs> it's fun. It's so fun. Have you seen this? What is that? It looks like some history. This is about the guy that uh, does calligraphy, right? Is it? I don't know. I think. I don't know. You know what I, I'm talking about, though? Wait, no, I'm thinking about the guy that does... No, I don't know what I'm thinking Okay. About. Don't worry about it. We'll, we'll just say we haven't watched it. Okay. I don't know what this is. Me neither. I don't know what this is? Me neither. I don't know what this is. Me neither. <laughs> Wait, I think this is... Oh, I do know what this is. This is... Nausicaa. Valley oh, of the Wind. Oh, I haven't seen it. Have I? You haven't made me see it. I haven't made you see it. This is the first uh, Ghibli movie I watched as an adult. Okay. And I would put it here. Okay. It's really good. Okay. Like, good movie, great animation, good messaging, good acting. I'm very excited to see The Boy and the Heron. Oh, yeah. With Robert Pattinson. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so everything else besides Totoro, I don't think I know what any of these are. Let's see. Yeah, I have no idea what this is. I have no... Is this, I think this is Summer Wars, which is on my to-watch list. It's another good movie. Okay. No idea what this is. Refuse to watch? Oh, whoops. I'm so used to just dragging up a little bit. So you're good for adding in another one. Yep. Uh, I think this is Silent Voice. I don't know what that is. Which is another anime movie that uh, I hear is good. Okay. And like a tearjerker. Okay, I'm always down for those. Yeah. Uh, no idea. Mm, I don't know. Psychopaths. Never seen it. Is on my to-watch list. It's supposed to be a really good anime. What genre is it, though? Like, near-future sci-fi. Ugh. But it's supposed to be incredible. It's about, I think, uh, there's a computer algorithm that can tell when people will commit crimes based on their emotions. Oh. And it's their job to go and hunt down those people before they commit the crimes. Interesting. So, like, the concept is, like, thought crimes and whether you should, should or should not be policing those. Hmm. Okay, I guess it sounds kind of interesting. Like I said, like, near future sci-fi. Right. It's not, like, way out there. Yeah, yeah. Which I feel like you do not like. No, I don't. But this sounds more on your level. Maybe. Like, if you could watch Parasite, you could watch Psychopaths. Okay. I don't know what this is. Me neither. Totoro. I don't, I don't think I've seen it. Me I neither. know it. So I will put it on our watch list. Okay. I have no idea what this is. Me neither. Free, That's I free. think. I think. If That's cl Clan Ad? I'm... Uh, it's been a long time since I've seen any of them. I, I can't remember if I watched Clan Ad or Air. Or Clan Ad After Story. Or like, I don't know, they're all related and I don't really care for it. Okay, so where, where do you want to put this? Never seen because you don't remember it? Yeah, it's fine. Kind of like a certain show that you're watching now? Shut up. <laughs> what is this? I have no idea what this is. Me Promare? Either. Maybe? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what that is either. Is this like Spice and Wolf or something? So, Spice and Wolf is a thing that I've tried watching recently. Yeah? But uh, the dub is so bad. I think it's supposed to be getting remade though. And okay. I am looking forward to that because I hear it's good. Okay. It's like a slightly fantasy romance but heavy on the romance okay between like a wolf spirit and a man interesting yeah okay do you want to put that on the watch list or no no because i tried watching it oh okay i don't know what any of these are or was the last one mob psycho I'm... yes it is okay it is mob psycho <laughs> the thing on my shirt but uh i, I don't know what romeo and the black brothers is me neither Kids on the slope? Who knows? I don't know. 
and then uh, Mob Psycho, which I would better than Food Wars. Really? It's really good. Okay. You gotta get past the like first six episodes. Okay, that was my problem. I didn't really get into it. Like, Mob is a really good character, and it's such a good story of how he grows as a person. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. I and that. also, Reagan is very fun. Do you remember Reagan? The blonde, the blonde guy. guy yeah. The blonde con artist. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> There's also a lot of growth for him. Okay. It's It starts off just like silly, kind of slapsticky, mm. and gets very deep over the course of the show. And then also just really great animation. Really? Mm -hmm. Okay. Like some of the coolest fight scenes I've ever seen. Okay. Which you do not expect after like the first couple of episodes. <laughs> yeah, I'd give it a chance. Here's the reason I got the shirt. <laughs> <laughs> All, All right. right. So that we'll, is our ranking. You want of... to double check and see if there's anything that we've put up there that we're kind of like, meh. So. S tier look. Good to you? From what I've seen? Mm hmm Sure. Yeah. So, I'm going to make you watch at least this. <laughs> okay. Actually, this is long. I'm going to make you watch at least this and this. Okay. Sound good? That's fine. I have more time. You're down for, like, horror anime that will make you cry, right? I love that shit. Yeah. I love crying. <laughs> this is like, if that one horrible episode of Full Metal Alchemist... Was a show? On repeat. Oh my god. Yeah. Okay. Food Wars? Good. Yeah, really good. good. Your name? It was good. Mm -hmm. I don't see anything off here. Okay. I think we're good. Yeah, I have no problems putting Death Note above Attack on Titan. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I don't understand the love for Attack on Titan. Levi. Is it just Levi? Is it just people horny for Levi? Probably. Probably. <laughs> Plus, wasn't the creator like a Nazi or something? I think so. Or like a fascist. Something one of those okay. things. One of those. Yeah. That sucks. Yeah. Still better than the creator of Ru Ruin and Kenshin. Uh, yeah. But we're not, we're not going to talk more about that. All right, so on the two watch list, the things I am most excited about, uh, Monster. Yes. Psychopaths. Mm-hmm. I hear Bacchano is so good, but, like, the aesthetic of, like, 1920s just does not appeal to me. No. Anything else here that uh, really draws your eye that you would look forward to? I... Ping really, pong? No. <laughs> um, what is it? What is it? Bunny Girl song? Rascal. Rascal, yeah. I feel like I would want to try that again because it seemed... Interesting. Okay. And then whatever that one the little girl is, because I don't remember the dad. This one? Yeah. Cause okay. I, I can't remember if that's the one that gets problematic or not. Okay. But yeah. What was that one with the demon lord and then like you're raising the demon lord and then you start dating the demon yeah, lord that you raise? That's the one that's also problematic. There's a lot of those. Unfortunately. Maybe that uh... That generator wasn't wrong. <laughs> oh no. Anyway. <laughs> I feel like this has been a podcast. It has been a podcast. I hope you guys have enjoyed our first little uh, adventure into anime and manga news. Why is it? Oh, okay. I was like, why is it on all caps? Because <laughs> I have the caps lock on. Right. Yeah, uh, hope you've enjoyed this. Uh, Maybe uh, next time y'all can also go watch some anime. What are you looking forward to watching in the future? Anything? I <laughs> need to watch Hormia. The That's, new one? Yeah, the new one. That's what I'm looking forward to the most, honestly. That and Fruit Basket Season 2? Yes, because I need some romance in my life. <laughs> <laughs> no offense or anything. Rude? Okay. I think we should leave it there. Here are our links for the show. Uh, if you want to go to our link tree, you will find links to our YouTube channel, most importantly. Also, our TikTok, our Patreon, our Instagram, Facebook, yes. Twitter. Yes. Go. All those things. Go check it out. Also, here are the uh, credits for the people that make the channel look and sound as good as it does. 
Uh, until next time, we are going to go have a talk. <laughs> Bye-bye. Go watch some anime. Thank you for watching. Please be sure to like and subscribe. Our channel is daily uploads from podcast video essays, let's plays to skip. Be sure to watch on Twitch. We stream all our video game and podcast content live at 5 EST every Wednesday, Friday, and Sunday. Our intro is by Brad Kendrick and music by Froggy and the Friendship. Link to all that in the description below. Thanks again, and we'll see you next time.